Hey guys, if you don't know, my name is Jessie and I'm the Dirt Bike Girl. And I finally went and did my first ever race with the VCHSS. It was wonderful and I learned a lot. I don't have any footage from that. And the reason why is because I didn't want to be worrying about a GoPro and whether it was muddy, where it was pointing, what was going on in my first race. I just wanted to focus on racing. So here's some footage of me riding my new bike for the first time. Hope you enjoy. But let's talk about the race. First, let's talk about the positives and things that I think I did right. The first thing I did was reach out to the community ahead of time. I reached out on Facebook, through text messages, and I started to get to know some of the people I would be riding with. That way, I already had a support system going into it. I think this is important, really important, because if it wasn't for those people rooting me on, telling me I could do it, I think I would have given up halfway through the race. A good support system really helps when you are mentally at your limit. Even if you don't have a good support system going in, I found everybody very helpful and really willing to look out for me. Introduce yourself to the other people you're going to be on the line with and racing with. So you get to know them. Don't look at them as competition though. This is just you racing against yourself. Get there early. I did not do this and I missed the class I was supposed to be in the G line, the girls trail riders class. And so I decided to go into the second morning class, which was probably a mistake, but I still did it. And I, I feel really good about that. Also, I decided ahead of time that I wouldn't race if it was muddy. I would just cheer everybody on. And I think that's great advice. If you can go to a race beforehand, Get to know the people on your line and walk around and introduce yourself to people. Don't be afraid. They're super nice. Practice dead engine starts ahead of time. And if you got somebody else to practice with you, that's great. You're not going to be able to hear your bike when you start it. You got to do it by feel. I happened to get a really good start and that was awesome. It boosted my confidence, but it was not my main goal. I wanted to be at the back of the pack. So I let everybody else go by so I could follow them and see what they were doing. I felt really good in the beginning, was riding really well, was really proud of myself. So now let's talk about where I think things went wrong. And the first thing was me getting in my head. Of course, that's the biggest obstacle we face as riders. In the beginning, everything was great. But then the track started to get really tight. And one thing I noticed real quickly is where people were bouncing off trees and had broken the bark off the trees. And I started stressing, am I gonna fit? Am I gonna bounce off trees? Then I would slow down and I would lose my momentum. I started sitting instead of standing and we all know I ride way better standing, but because I was stressing out, I sat down, which was the wrong decision for me. Do what's right for you. There were places where I really did need to sit, but for the most part, I think I should have really been standing, but I did get moving again. And things started to get a little better again, even though it was tight and it did not flow well, unless you were bouncing off trees, I started to feel it a little bit. Then I started getting a little faster, a little faster, and then I slammed into a tree and smacked my head on another tree. I had trouble picking my bike up at this time. I wasted a lot of energy and I started to get tired. But I kept on going. I slowed it back down again and lost some of my momentum again. At this point, that's when the leaders started to catch up to me. And that was a real problem for me. I was not prepared for it. Even though everybody told me what to do, when they caught up to me, I just panicked and froze up and then would try and get off the course as quickly as possible 
and would get off at the wrong spot. And it was bad. I wasn't looking for places that I could get off safely and put my feet down, which meant I started dropping my bike left and right. And when I would drop the bike, I would be holding more people up and I'd be racing to try and get it up more energy expended that I shouldn't have. And I got real tired real fast. Looking back, here's the crazy part to me. I didn't find any of the obstacles to be too difficult. None of the hills, none of the roots, nothing. Even the big steep hill climb, I felt confident that okay. I could do that. I was exhausted at that point and chose to go around, but I could have definitely done it. I had all the skills and all the technique. I just let my head get in my own way. And that's a common thing for me to do. I know that's a problem. I know that's something I need to work on constantly. I think it's something we all have to work on. In my lowest moments, there were always people there to pep me up, to ask if I needed help, to make sure I was doing okay. I refused the help for 90% of the race, but toward the end, I let some people pick up my bike. I wanted to do it on my own, and I wanted to get to the finish line on my own. That was another mistake. I have a wonderful group of people around me who completely support me, and strangers who were supporting me. And I should have allowed their support. Mostly, I just needed the kind words and I'm so grateful for every single one of them because that's what kept me in somewhere in the middle I had a complete breakdown I wanted to cry I wanted to give up I didn't think I was good enough it was way too much but I kept going and I calmed myself down and things got better and they got easier and I was able to do it I think this was like the time I tried to jump the creek, but I wasn't quite ready. I knew I had all the skills that it took to do it, but I wasn't ready to put them all together in my head. And I needed just a little more training, a little more time. But I also needed to attempt to do it, so I knew what I needed to work on to make myself better. And that's exactly what ended up happening. I felt like I needed to do this. I needed to know what the experience was gonna be like so that I could train for it. And now I'll be ready next time to be really successful at it. And I'll probably have some low points where I wanna cry and give up, but I know I've got my friends and family there to support me. And I'm very grateful for that. This whole experience has been a journey and I'm looking forward to the next part of it. Remember, if you're having a bad day, it's only one down and the rest is up. <laughs>